Hi everyone, welcome back to Gunshot. This week I've got for you the Beretta 686 Silver Pigeon 1, the Ford Fiesta of uh, over under shotguns. Um, an everyman gun, the gun that I think in a lot of places and a lot of ways is the sort of de facto starting gun, either this or the 525. You're going to get recommended to shoot one of these if you're starting out and shooting. Certainly as a, a sort of mid range, relatively sort of budget minded. Um, entry into the Beretta ecosystem. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about the gun. We have um, 30 inch barrels on this thing with a solid mid rib. Um, the mid rib stops about here just underneath the forearm to keep the weight down. The uh, top rib is a single 10mm uh, tapering down to 8mm top rib with no tram line and no centre bead. Uh, red front bead. Uh, it has this uh, relatively nicely figured um, action fences and Sort of all around here, it's really to be honest, guns empty by the way. Nicely figured. The checkering on the gun is, I think, laser cut, it's very precise looking, and uh, there's a nice detail on the uh, fore end latch and stuff, uh, and on the trigger guard. The trigger itself is a rather thin but non adjustable, um, non mechanical trigger, so it does need a bump um, from the first uh, shell going off to, to set it away. The length of pull on this thing is 14.5 uh, it has this um, standard Beretta butt pad on it and the sweep of this pistol grip is actually quite pleasant. It has a very slight palm swell um, but all in all it's quite nice um, and it's a, as I said, guns empty but this, I guess at the back end has a, a relatively pleasant feel to it. It's, um, it shoulders reasonably well. I have to say I do not like this foreign, I do not like the schnabel. This edge is incredibly sharp for a, a piece of wood. Um, this really actually hurt my forefinger because I tend to shoot with the forefinger out along the end of the, the foreign like that. And this really hurt. I, uh, I, I, <laughs> I actually ended up shooting it differently than I would uh, normally. I ended up holding the gun differently and this definitely affected my enjoyment of shooting it. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't like it. Um, it feels very much like a mass produced tool. Something about it, it feels completely like it was designed by a computer to be average, average sized, average in every way. And as a result, it comes off as being a very average gun without a lot of character. The 75 Mark II, which you'll recall I didn't like very much, had character. And to be honest, I'd take one of those over one of these. And, they're not a million miles apart in terms of price point. I just think this thing is somewhat soulless. And in, if I'm honest, shooting it, um, it shoots relatively well. I didn't have any problems with it. It didn't beat me up or anything. But equally, I didn't seem to hit much with it. I was definitely missing shots that I just felt like I should be hitting with my gun. Certainly if I was shooting it. I don't know what. I didn't get on with it. I felt a bit cramped behind it for all... It's pretty average dimensions. I don't feel like this is a, a gun that's too small for me. It just felt cramped. Um, I'm not sure what it is about this thing that I do not like. It's, I think it's a sum of its parts. I think it tries to be too many things to too many people and as a result comes off as being kind of medium and therefore doesn't fit. Um, well, it doesn't fit me. Uh, it was not fun to shoot, I'm going to say. It wasn't unpleasant, as I've said, it definitely wasn't uh, an unpleasant thing to shoot. It, it feels nice enough, but I found it very difficult to get a consistent mount with it. For whatever reason, it came up, almost seemed like it came up differently every time. Sometimes I was up the right, sometimes up the left. Um, I felt like I was trying, I don't know, it feels like it should, it, it, it definitely moves fast enough. It doesn't have ungainly balance. Um, it just, I couldn't seem to hit much with it. I didn't get on with it. I don't know. I don't know what to say to you. This is, um, I think of all the videos that I've done so far, this has been a surprise for me because I expected to find this gun completely kind of adequate and I'm finding it lacking. Um, I'm not really sure what else to say to that, to be honest. This is a genuine surprise in that here's a gun that you feel like everybody could get on with, but 
Not me. What do I say to that? I will talk to you about the trigger on this gun. Um, I did find that extremely disappointing. I uh, appreciate that my bar is set fairly high. I shoot a creek off in a blazer. Therefore, I expect a degree of crispness in a trigger, shall we say. But the trigger on this thing is crap. Oh, I'm sorry, it is. It's, uh, it's really creepy. It, there's a, it feels like there's just an acre of travel before it pops. And there were definitely some birds that I missed due to thinking the gun was going to go off when it didn't. Again, maybe this one's a duffer. It happens in everything. Sometimes you, you uh, this is obviously a second hand gun, it's not brand new. But I dislike the trigger on this thing. Uh, I think it was the only bit mechanically that I didn't get on with. I didn't like the trigger, I definitely didn't like the forend. Um, everything else went fine. The lockup's reasonably nice. It doesn't lock up like a browning, but it locks up. It looks like a beretta, it makes a peculiar beretta noise. Uh, the ejectors work flawlessly. It's it is what it is. It's, it's the, as I said earlier on, it's the, it's the Ford Fiesta of guns. It's a win uh, to shoot uh, Beretta. But if I'm brutally honest, it's not for me. And I'm really genuinely surprised by that because my first gun was a Lamba back several years ago. I think we all kind of, I think it's quite common to get stuck in with a, with a relatively cheap gun. And then my second gun was a 682 Goldie. It was a second hand gun, it'd be very well cared for. Paid about a grand for it. It was an absolutely lovely gun, fabulous gun to shoot. Really, really pretty. Um, and I genuinely expected this thing to feel like that, and it really doesn't. Uh, perhaps I'm, I guess, maybe setting my sights too high for this thing, but I genuinely was surprised at how, how badly I got on with it. And um, I guess that's a bit of a shame, really. Um, let's hope that there's something else in the Beretta stable uh, that I can test that maybe I like a bit more. But um, I do recommend, by the way, if you're looking for a, uh, a nice gun to move up to, maybe skipping the <laughs> Solar Pigeon and find yourself a nice, well cared for 682 Goldie, because they're a cracking gun. Thanks, everybody. Um, please drop me a subscribe if you enjoy the videos, and uh, I'll see you next time, hopefully, with something that I like. <laughs> Cheers, guys.